channel. Yes, it's another first impressions demo and review video. Today, I'm going to be doing the first impressions demo and review on this makeup look with this new eyeshadow palette. This is the Marc Jacob Beauty's iconic Rose Gold Palette Spring Edition. The package is so sleek. The colors are amazing. I have the eyeshadows on right now. You can see the beautiful swatches. Mm -hmm. I paired this look with some big falsies and a big super winged. I hope you guys like this new look that I created. If you guys are interested on the demo and review on this guy here, then please keep on watching. So just a little fun fact, this video actually bumped up the five videos that I have already pre-recorded and edited. I mean, those are like final and ready to like hit and send. However, this new eyeshadow palette from Marc Jacob Beauty just came out. So I was like, you know what? I need to have this video posted up first because this is some new new here. So I'm so, so excited to talk about this palette and do my demo and review and first impressions on this guy. So this is actually my second eyeshadow palette by Marc Jacobs. I have this one here, which is their older one. This one is the number 212 The Dreamer and it is a great palette so I'll get into more details about this in just a second but I do want to talk about this guy right here mm -hmm. just looking at the package alone it's beautiful I mean white rose gold trimming I mean it's just a box but it is so beautiful I don't know if you guys know I am so in love with white 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 cars white, my coffee table's white, my furniture around the house is like white. <laughs> so I really do love the color white and that is why this caught my attention because it is a white box but little did I know the inside was actually white too. As always, I'm gonna read a little bit about this palette on the Sephora's website. This is Marc Jacobs Beauty new iconic multi-finish eyeshadow palette coconut fantasy collection this values at 49 dollars and they offer seven different shades so the details of this palette is a long wearing eyeshadow palette in a glossy white compact with rose gold accents featuring seven shades in four fashion finishes velvet satin silk and lame to layer and dress your eyes so here is a brief description of what Marc Jacob palette describes as Empower your inner eye makeup stylist with this ultra luxe eyeshadow palette featuring four fashion finishes, buttery matte velvet, shimmering satin, sparkling silk, and metallic lame. This limited edition palette in a glossy white case features the same super plush shadow formulation as original iconic covering lids in lasting velvety rich pigment. Make the ultimate impression of a comfortable mix of a sensational nude and shimmering pop shades. They also have this new bronzer also infused with coconut. It smells good. It's nice and pigmented. It came in a white case just like this collection. And of course it's sold out online, but once it hits in stores, I'm sure you guys will get it, but go there first before it runs out. So let's just take a look at this box together and open it. So it just says Marc Jacobs. I love the detail. Ooh, it's like texturized. I do like how it's rolls gold at the edges. I mean, attention to detail, guys. This is actually really nice. Let's just go ahead and open it. So it just opens like this and it comes like this. So it's nice and pretty and white. And then you have the colors on the back. I even like this. It's rolls gold and even the button is. Ooh. So just like my old palette, you just push it and it just kind of has this like nice little lever or trigger. So you just push the button and it goes, boop, it just pops right up. I love how it has a nice mirror here. I can take it to travel if I'd like to. What's kind of cool about this is that when you're looking or using this, you basically just see the horizon of your eyes. <laughs> it's just like so perfect because you get to like just focus without looking at everything else and you can get really detailed. Hmm. Has a cover on there. And this is how it looks like. I'm gonna be honest, I bought this because of the package. Mm -hmm. Everybody loves attention to detail and packaging. Number two, I actually don't have a rose gold palette. I really don't think I do. I'll have like warms, nudes. 
I really don't have a rose gold palette, so that is another reason why I got this. I love how slim the packaging is. It's just so chic and so luxury. Only one downside of this that I dislike is that this did not come with a bag. My original Marc Jacobs palette actually came in a little baggie. So, I mean, it's not such a big deal. If I'm gonna travel with this, I would like something to be placed in a bag so it won't scratch the surface or just, you know, crack if I do drop it or bang it against something. But to be honest, I don't think I'm gonna be traveling with this because this is so pretty. If anything, it's just gonna be sitting on my vanity. So I'm gonna read the colors to you guys and swatch them from left to right. Also on the website, when you read the names of this, it's kind of like a romantic poem as what Marc Jacobs was inspired with these colors and the rose gold theme. Ooh. This is such a beautiful matte color, but it's so creamy. So this is the first color and it's called Flesh. This is a really pretty matte and I love how creamy it is. Not creamy where it like flakes off. The second color is also a matte and it's kind of like a taupey kind of color. It's really cool tone and this is called Covets. Well, that was a lot more pigmented than I thought. By looking at the palette, it didn't seem so dark. So the next color here is also a matte and I believe it goes Matte, matte, metallic, metallic, and satin. So the third color here is called Fantasy. Ooh, that's a really, really pretty dusty rose. Ooh, this is creamy too. I can just see myself applying this on with just my fingers. This color here is called She Said. And it's more of a metallic finish, you see that? This color is so promising and I'm so excited to try this color is Metya. Oh, that's so pretty. Look at that bronzy color. It's so warm. It's so beautiful. Nothing's flaking off. Literally, it's just one swipe, all these pigments. And I didn't even put any eye primer on my hand. This color here is a satin for sure. I don't know. It looks kind of matte, actually. This color here is more, more of. More of? Oh, for more. I'm reading it backwards. This color here is for more. I kind of applied a little too much because I didn't think it was gonna be that pigmented, but it's really muddy. I'm sure if I blend it and don't use such a heavy hand, it wouldn't be like that. But that just shows you how much pigment this has. The last color here, I'm gonna use my index finger. And again, this is a satin color. And this color is called On the Dance Floor. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I am literally already giving this 10 out of 10 because of the pigmentation, no primer. Let's just see how this applies onto my skin with actual brushes. So I already primed my eyelids. I'm just gonna jump into the shadows. Now, just looking at my hands, I'm probably gonna use a second shade, which is called Covets as a transition and I want to warm up my crease. I'm hoping it's not going to be too muddy looking, but let's just see. When I do place this onto the brush, there is a little bit of fallout just because of the butteriness. However, I'm hoping it's still going to be pigmented with the brush application. Yeah, it actually has a lot of pigment still. Hmm. So what's really nice with the application, it glides nice and smooth. I'm just going to go in with another layer and build up the same color. I'm gonna go in with the darker color, which is for more, and I'm just gonna lightly tap it once or twice. <laughs> so that's a lot of color here. Let's just see how it swatches. I'm sure you guys have caught on by now that every time I apply on the eyeshadow and if it's too much, I quickly bounce over to the other side and not use what's on there because sometimes using a heavy hand can be a little bit more difficult to even out. So again, I like to add more because it's easier to add more than remove. So now I'm gonna continue blending it until it looks a bit softer. As you guys can see today, I'm using a little bit of a different technique. I really want to emphasize how deep my eye crease can look with just a little bit of shadow to give an illusion that I do because I really wanna build that deepness and darkness on the outer corners. Just have my lid space a little bit open. So it's kind of like a 
cut crease but not a very strong one. So I'm not sure what route I would like to go. I really have my eyes on this bronzy color because it's so pretty. Summer's around the corner. But I kind of want to create a rose gold eye going with the theme of the rose gold. So let's just try this out and see. This color here is on the dance floor. Sometimes with certain pinks, it kind of makes your eyes look more irritated than actually is. So we'll just see how this looks. So I'm just going to let you guys see my palette. At the moment, you guys can see I'm using this shade and I use that and this here. These matte shadows and satin ones seems to be a little bit more powdery and flaky. This shadow is the only one that has a lot of... I don't want to say the word moist because people freak out, but it seems really creamy and it just doesn't have fallout because it's so dense. So this color does make my eyeshadows look a bit more irritated. So I'm just going to use my finger, but I'm going to use the color she said just right on top and see how this looks. Ooh. It's like a salmon color, huh? Hmm. I don't like this look. Guys, I don't like this look. I'm going to have to wipe this off. I'm going to be honest, I did not like those colors on me. It didn't look good. It swatched on my hands beautifully. It just didn't work out. So I'm going to go in with that Met Yaw color. And yes, look, it is flaking too right there. Probably better if I just use my fingers. Ooh. Oh, that's some color. I like that. So one thing that I did like, although I used a matte color over the shimmer, it actually covered it. So it doesn't look so shimmery on top. Sometimes when you use a matte finish over a shimmer, it's not opaque enough for it to cover. But this one actually does. So I'm just going back in with the first color to blend in between. So I'm going to take the color on the dance floor and just put it in between the two dark colors so there's no line of demarcation of the two shadows. I'm just using my finger to apply it on. I'm going to take the color Flesh and highlight my brow bone. So I'm just going to finish up the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so this is my final look. What do you guys think? <laughs> I know I went a bit dramatic, especially with the lashes and I super winged out my liner. I haven't done a winged liner in so long and plus I'm actually using my new eyeliner pen by Hourglass, which I love. It's so intense. Felt tip pen is like firm enough where I can really control how thin and thick I want the wing to be. And I love how skinny and still defined at the same time and so much pigment this actually gives. And I just pair this with a really soft Givenchy lip gloss, which I love, which is in graffiti. So anyways, here is my final thoughts. I truly love this brand. They have great products. Unfortunately, I know it's a bummer. I didn't think I liked this as much as I thought I did. To be honest, it looks really pretty as I seen it yesterday. This color here has to be the only color that I truly, truly fell in love with. I mean, again, I love the package. It's so pretty, it's chic, but the shadows just weren't for me. I mean, you guys seen how I tried to blend it and it just came out just a little too muddy and too cool tone for me that I don't feel like these are great transition colors. I mean, I can still utilize this palette. Don't get me wrong here. It's just, I feel like the colors in this combination was really nice to look at at first, but when I'm trying it on together, it doesn't really work out too well. Like this was a little too cool. This was way too pigmented and warm. This color is really pretty here. It has like a blue sheen to it, like an undertone. I just like that. I just don't like a color like that, but it may work for other people. This color here is really pretty. It's soft. It's like a nice salmon color, but on my lids, it looked a little bit too irritated like my skin was irritated but overall i think i could do a nice matte look with these guys however i will still use this palette it's not going to go to waste i will most likely cocktail these colors to other colors i have in my palette so as you guys can see there was a lot of fallout towards the end of the demo i actually just started using my fingers to apply it on versus a brush i mean swatching it on my hand as you can see it's very pigmented there's no fallout just the type of brushes i was using wasn't really picking it up as nicely i mean i'm using mac makeup forever brushes but i i don't know it this 
kind of a bust here. I don't know. I Honestly, it didn't work out the way I thought it would work out with me. It's not the greatest. This is my old palette that I love. I love the combination. It works well with my complexion. This one here, supposedly on the website, works with fair, mediums, and even dark and deep tones. So I was like, let's give this a try. So once again, these colors don't all work for me, but I like a few of them and I will still use it in cocktail with maybe this palette or another palette I have. Again, this is my 100% final thoughts, feedback on this, my opinion. Please don't get discouraged. It may work out for you. Some of the colors just wasn't all that and some of them were amazing. Go ahead and comment below on some of your thoughts if you guys have tried this palette, if you guys think this is a yay or nay. Maybe go to your local Sephora, watch the colors and see if you like them. I'll go ahead and link everything down in the info box for you guys if you guys are interested. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed my first impressions demo and review please give me a big thumbs up if you guys found this video helpful or useful in any way don't forget to subscribe to my channel i have more videos posting all right guys thank you so much for watching thank you for your support and i'll see you guys on the next one bye original ones that they had oh it's called the iconic multi kind of go with like makeup palette by mark I, uh, I don't even know what to say. 